Hello and welcome to Creative Cooking on a Shoestring. Everyone has a few of these in their cupboard. Little packs of instant oatmeal. And these are for much more than just breakfast. Today we're going to turn a few of these into some delicious cookies. Let's get cooking. Our ingredients for these cookies we're going to need one half cup of softened butter or one stick, a quarter cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of milk, one egg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, six packs of instant oatmeal, whatever flavor you have on hand. I'm using maple and brown sugar. One cup of flour. And I'm going to split this recipe in half and do one plain and half with raisins. So I'm going to use a half a cup of raisins, but if you're going to do the whole batch, you'll use one full cup. And also, if you would like, you can add half a cup of chopped walnuts, and that is totally optional. To our softened butter, we're going to add our sugar and the brown sugar. and we're going to mix that until it's smooth and creamy. Now we're going to add our egg, our milk, and our vanilla. And blend it again. Now to our flour, we're going to add our cinnamon, our baking powder, and our baking soda. And when that's mixed, we're going to add the dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. And don't forget to add your oatmeal like I almost did. I might need a bigger bowl. I do need a bigger bowl. Okay, I have switched bowls and got everything all mixed up to a nice thick batter.
Now because I am going to do half plain and half with raisins, I'm going to split this in half into separate bowls. Now we're going to scoop these out onto our baking tray. Going to keep them about two inches apart because they will spread. I'm going to keep scooping these out, and when they're ready to go in the oven, I'll be back. I just put the cookies into the oven. They will bake for about eight to ten minutes until they are nice and golden brown around the edges. See you when they're done. Okay, my cookies are out of the oven. Well, half of them anyway. And they're going to cool on this rack probably 20-30 minutes and then we'll taste them. Now that our cookies have all come out of the oven and are all cooled down, let's give one a taste. Mmm. They're crunchy on the outside soft and chewy on the inside. <clears throat> I'm not a big cookie fan, but these are delicious. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed this video and try out this recipe. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want. I'd appreciate it if you did. And we'll see you next time.